Hey guys, I'm Tommy and welcome back to Studio Sense. Very happy that you stopped by. For those of you that are stopping by for the first time, make sure to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of new content daily. And for those of you that have been with me since the very beginning, thanks so much for your support. It makes me happy that you stopped by and take some time out to spend with me. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. It is coming close to Thanksgiving. Right, so we've got that. We just celebrated Halloween. It seems like yesterday you turn around, there's a brand new holiday to celebrate. We've got Christmas coming up soon. So people are getting in that kind of the mood for a hot toddy, coffee, cinnamon, Christmas wreath, candles. There's all kinds of things that evoke the kind of fragrance and scent that brings to mind Christmas time. And Christmas is synonymous with holidays, let's face it. So I thought maybe we could talk about a scent that lends itself a little bit to holiday use. And that is Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. Victor Horsting and Rolf Snorin founded Victor and Rolf back in 1993, I believe it was, and they specialize in conceptual or experimental new designs, things that are sort of avant-garde or unorthodox, out of the ordinary, experimental. That's kind of their thing, and they go that way with fragrances as well. It's everything that you like about Spice Bomb, if you like Spice Bomb, and then some, even more, as is inferred by the moniker Extreme. Spice Bomb Extreme did come out in 2015. Some people have said that it smells like Emporio Armani, Stronger With You Intensely, and it's been compared to, to other ones out there, but really there's nothing quite like it in the fragrance world or community. There's a lot of things to, to like about Spice Bomb, and we're gonna talk about a lot of them, but let's start from the top and look at the presentation. <laughs> I personally don't own a bottle of Victor & Rolf Spice Bomb Extreme, not because I don't want it, but it is a little bit pricey, and especially for something that doesn't necessarily lend itself to everyday use. Spice Bomb Extreme, it is specifically for a small subsector or sublet or slice of pie out of the graph that is your life. And I think Holidays fits within that subsector very well, in fact, perfectly. I'll just say right off the bat that this review is based on a sample that I did get at Sephora. So to the young girl who made the sample for me, thank you so much because <laughs> about 30 seconds after she got into the bottle, the entire store smelled like Spice Bomb Extreme, which is a nod to its sillage, its projection. It is one of the few out there that you can literally say within an eight foot radius, you can likely smell this even in a room where there isn't a breeze and it's relatively still, it is a fairly loud fragrance. However, it's just in the opening. It doesn't necessarily maintain that loudness, which is actually a positive thing, because if it did, it would be a lot more off-putting to a lot more people. As the name implies and the bottle defines, it is a hand grenade with a little copper ring pin. It has been described as a fiery interpretation of the original Spice Bomb. It kind of has that sweet gourmand vibe of like caramel and sea salt with the warmth of chocolate, which is a very holiday interpretation or profile. Seductive, intense, overly sexy, a tag of Spice Bomb Extreme. In fact, I keep this in a container because as the, the girl was making me a sample, some spilled onto the container and it's now on my fingers and I've not even sprayed it. And it's really, really strong. And I can see why you could be, you know, confused by the smell of potpourri and the smell of Spice Bomb Extreme because it is very extremely spicy in the same manner that a potpourri will be very spicy because of the cinnamon in it. So let's talk about some of the notes. It does have lavender and it's a really kind of a unique way of mixing that lavender with black pepper and caraway. In fact, they use a lot of caraway. I think they kind of got carried away with the caraway. I just had to say that. They didn't get carried away. It's a perfect amount, very well blended. In the top notes, we've got bergamot, we've got grapefruit, pimento or allspice, kind of the same thing, interchangeable, and black pepper. In the mid, we have kind of a floral saffron. We've got spice again with cumin, cinnamon, and chili or chili pepper. Going down into the base, and this is where it gets really heady for me, and we've got oud, you've got a tobacco note, you've got a leather note, although that leather note probably lends itself coming a little bit from the, the amber or the labdanum, especially with the tobacco and the labdanum creates kind of a leathery musk 
feel or sensation. And so it ad adds a perfect aroma and aromatic fragrance to the setting, to the situation. And yet think about that curled up and coming off of your body and emanating from you and those around you getting that pleasurable vibe from Spice Bomb Extreme. And that's exactly the kind of situation that you would wear it in and that it would really come to its own in. Just like an actual bomb, Spice Bomb Extreme's open is an explosion of different notes. So you can pick up on the varying levels of veracity of each note as you're trying to sort that out. Something that's also running through your mind is, where am I gonna wear this? <laughs> in what situation is it gonna be appropriate to wear something that is this initially loud. As it turns out, you don't really need to answer that question because after about an hour or two, it seems like, and I'm gonna put my emphasis on seems like with air quotes, seems like that Spice Bomb Extreme kind of drifts away or becomes a lesser than or becomes, I dare I say, a skin scent. Can anything that has the word extreme in the title become a skin scent? Yes, it can. Is Spice Bomb an example of that? I would say no. The reason I'm saying no, and it sounds like I'm disagreeing with myself, is I want you to consider one thing, okay? We all toss around, and I say we, I mean in the fragrance community, we toss around the word anosmia, probably a little bit too much. Anosmia doesn't just come out of the blue. It typically follows some kind of trauma, typically, usually. More often than not, we're confusing anosmia with scent confusion on any fragrance form. <laughs> You're, there isn't any gray area. You're gonna get two different schools of thought. The first school of thought is that Spice Bomb Extreme lasts for a very long time. You, you'll get 14 to 16 hours of longevity out of Spice Bomb Extreme. The second school of thought is, this is crap. Why are they selling us this expensive juice that doesn't do anything? It reacts more like an EDT than it does an EDP and there isn't any extreme to it. After the opening, it dries down in an hour, hour and a half, two hours, it goes away. However, I posit this. Do this experiment. Try Spice Bomb Extreme on yourself, okay? On your skin or your clothes or your skin and your clothes. We're, usually when we spray, we get an, a combination of our clothing and on our skin, kind of half and half or you know, 60, 40, 70, 30, whatever. After being around yourself for a while, you don't notice as often or as much until occasionally you'll catch your, your own, you know, siage or your own bubble, a whiff of it. But for the most part, you're not necessarily gonna notice it. Take a shower, put on different clothes, go somewhere or in any other environment that has a fresh air or different air. And you go back into that room where with the clothing that's laying there that you had, that has a little bit of Spice Bomb Extreme, smell that article of clothing. I, I guarantee you, you won't even have to get close to it before you start smelling it again. And you'll be like, wow, could I be wrong about the longevity? Could it last a lot longer than it seems? The answer is yes. And the reason that the answer is yes, there's this thing called homeostasis. Whenever you experience something with any of your senses, whether it's taste, sight, smell, touch, any of those things, and it is very harsh or traumatic or considered traumatic, the body tries to balance. In medicine, it's called tolerance. That's why you have to cycle off certain medicines for a while before you start taking them again because pretty soon the medicine doesn't have the effect that it initially had. And so we, to allow our body's homeostasis to reset itself, you have to cycle off. Well, it's the same thing with fragrance. After you're around a fragrance for so long, what you first thought was extreme, your body made it the new normal, trying to reach a level of balance or homeostasis. That's why I think Spice Bomb Extreme seems like it doesn't have longevity. It's because our body is suffering from a basic scent confusion, not a complex, not anosmia, but a basic scent confusion. And it can be remedied, go outside and get some fresh air for a little bit and then come back in. It doesn't take that long, 30 minutes to an hour, something like that. And you'll notice that it has really good longevity. Longevity is almost empirical. It's not gonna be, you know, you can have two guys buy a bottle beside each other and one's gonna say it has great longevity, one's gonna say it has crap longevity. Who, who are you gonna believe? Well, the fact is there's only one answer, right? Unless they're the person that bought a bottle has gone to an extreme locale, living literally in the middle of the Sahara Desert or something and wearing it outside every day. So homeostasis, that's the answer. So the reality is, is Spice Bomb Extreme does have fantastic longevity. It is a longevity beast and a half, <laughs> okay? so. Uh, you can safely purchase this knowing that you're going to get at least 12 to 15 hours of longevity out of several sprays, two to three sprays. Now it is a very loud 
fragrance at first, so you want to be very careful about what where you're going to wear it. If you even if you're going to wear it in the holidays, during the holidays around family, you don't want to be overbearing, so don't overdo it. One or two sprays at most is what you're going to want to do, especially if you're sitting next to people, especially at the dinner table. Now, the benefit of wearing something like this at, at a dinner table is that it is very sweet and gourmand and flavorful and it will make your mouth water. So gourmand, gourmet, food, it lends itself to that category or genre really, really well. So it's a perfect holiday fragrance for that reason, especially with Thanksgiving coming up, Christmas meals. It is definitely a cold weather fragrance. Heat is not going to do Spice Bomb Extreme any good at all. It's not a friend to a loud fragrance like this. So you wanna, you wanna avoid wearing it in heat. I mean, I guess you could. You could do anything you want, of course, but it's not gonna be the best presentation or representation of what the best the fragrance can do. In a 24 hour cycle, I would say evening time is gonna be the best use of the fragrance, the best time to wear it. It's a great oxytocin inducing fragrance. If you haven't heard of it, a lot of people call it the cuddle drug. It's similar to dopamine, it's released in our, in our brains anytime we feel love or affection for a person and it makes us wanna to touch them, hold them, hug them, and that's why they call it the cuddle drug. This almost feels like it's got a little bit of oxytocin pheromone in it so because it does lend itself toward that kind of it's very seductive very comforting very homey very but also very exciting in a way because of, of the way that it makes use of the infusion of the lavender the cumin the caraway and the black pepper the way they're blended together it really has a, a vibrancy like a in that opening especially you get a little bit of the, the fruit and a little bit of the floral with the lavender, the bergamot, and grapefruit. But for the most part, that dries up pretty quickly and what you're left with is an amalgamation or a composite of all these different spices that are almost battling. It's almost like a battle royale of the spice rack, right? So they're all trying to vie for dominance or attention. And so occasionally you're gonna be picking out certain notes that you weren't necessarily aware was in the forefront because it wasn't, right? Because it lost the battle, at least temporarily, to chili, red chili. You're gonna get kind of that cumin-y chili vibe, that, that heat, that hot sensation. And then you're gonna get that milky, caramely gourmand of the black vanilla coming up in there with the oud and the tobacco. And you get that leather, musky, little bit heavier, denser feel. And that's when you really, really come to appreciate that you've been thinking about a fragrance. You've been picking out the notes in a fragrance. It's almost like dessert in a bottle as well. There's so many ways that you could describe Spice Bomb Extreme. So while there's a lot of varying opinions and discussion about the longevity, I can guarantee you that the reality is you're gonna get at least 12 to 14 hours out of it. It is a very loud fragrance at the beginning, but give it a little bit of time. And when I say a little bit, honestly, 30 to 40 minutes, and most of the loudness is completely gone and it's dried down into those super enjoyable notes that are in the mid and in the dry down itself. That's when they all come together, shake hands, hug each other as a family, you know, stand there and pose for photos. It's just super enjoyable. And there's not a lot one can say negative about Spice Bomb Extreme unless you get hung up on that open, that loud open. Unless you get hung up on the incorrect thought that it is not a longevity beast, that the longevity is gone. It's just your schnoz getting confused, reaching that, your body, trying to get that homeostasis, that balance. It only takes some fresh air or some coffee grinds or something like that to reset your sense. And then you realize, hey, this really does smell good and it lasts a long time. The only other negative thing I'll say, and I'll drop it after that and I'll be done, but the price point is still a little bit high. It's about 100 in Sephora, I think it's about 120 bucks for a 90 ml bottle. It's not super bad, but still is a little bit pricey. So my recommendation is for anyone, whether you like extreme spicy fragrances or not, is to get a decant or get a sample at first, make sure it's gonna be something that you do wanna to add to your collection, because it's not gonna be something uh, unless, you know, unless you decide that you wanna make it your signature scent, which is gonna be probably unlikely. It's not gonna be an everyday grab. Um, it's not something that you're going to want to always have in the forefront of your of your collection with a few exceptions. So 
make sure that you do sample out first before plunking down your hard-earned cash. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my review of Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Extreme. One thing I will mention, if you do have any kind of sample collection or decant collection that you're wondering how you can kind of protect them from occasional seal breakage or leakage, spare bottles that they can, sp that, that can spare, and it's a great size, especially this size here, I have found, as you notice, you can, you can use a Sharpie and even label them that way. And it's a great way to put your decants and your samples in without getting you know, the juice uh, if you can't find a seal for it or, or can't re-decant it, uh, temporarily at least. It's a great way to store them. That way it uh, keeps it from getting on your clothes and your electronics and, and everything else. And it's a great way to store them as well because sunlight does damage to medication as well. It reduces the, the overall effectiveness. So the same with fragrances. So it's kind of a, a nice little way to, to protect your decants and your samples. I really appreciate your time and your support. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.